Hello everyone, and today I'm talking to Joanne Potter. Hello. Hello. And we are at Lakeside. I, I'm actually gushing here. I grew up literally just down the road. So I've got a lot of stories about Lakeside, but I don't want to hear my stories. I want to hear your stories, mm -hmm. okay? So let's just quickly touch on what's happening at Lakeside over the next few weeks. Oh, well, we've got a a fabulous array of, of artists coming up. Yep. I've seen some of these artists on occasions. These are absolutely fabulous artists. We've got um, starting with um, the start. We start backwards because we've got a New Year's Eve event here, which is always brilliant. Okay. The New Year's Eve event is going to be with the Potters this year, and um, or rather next year because it'll be the first. It'll be the first. Yes. <laughs> so um, yeah, the Potters. They're fabulous, fabulous artists. So that's going to be a great night. So that's the New Year's Eve taken care of. Something okay. different this year. And um, so on Saturday night we've got Take That. Take That. Now, when we say Take That, what are they? Are they? They are. Uh, it's, it's, they're all lookalikes. They're a, a tribute band, but they're one of the best tribute bands that I've seen. Okay. They're, they're absolutely fabulous. I shall be here dancing away. Dancing away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we've got we have Elvis. We've got an Elvis show. Um, it's on Sunday the twenty second of December, and. Um, that's that's one of the best Elvis shows ever, actually. That's absolutely brilliant. It's great. Oh, any Elvis show you is is normally sell out, yeah, though, isn't it? Sell out. He's he's fabulous. He's great. And then we've got the originals, Boney M. Um, I, I, loads of people want to come and see that. That's that's, that's going to be a fantastic night. You can dress up as well as they want to, and and you just make a really party night out. I, that's on the 18th of December. That I thing. don't think I have any 70s stuff. Have you? No. Come to my wardrobe. And I can <laughs> 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 okay, and then we have here. Oh, Men of Soul, brilliant. We've had them before. We, we keep having them back because they're so entertaining. Okay, but the one person there. That's um, this one. He's one of the original Drifters. One of the Drifters, yeah. and they've been yeah. here before. They've been here, but we used to have the Drifters in the old days. Many, so many years. Uh, Johnny Moore. I mean, you, you couldn't you couldn't go back to those days anymore. They were such a fantastic band. But these recently as good in, in their way, and yeah. um, you know, still performing well. So they still do the close, mm -hmm. the close harmony singing and the, all, yeah. the, all the dance routines? And the dance routines, yep. Yeah, yeah. With the white suits? They've got the white suits, yeah. We've <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. got the blast from the past. Okay, and then we have something, something oh, for the younger people. Queen. Queen. Uh, <laughs> you know, I always wanted to see that band live, but I never did, but... This show was absolutely fantastic. I got offered Star tickets to go and see um, in 1986, but I couldn't go because I was at college. Oh, well, that's more important. <laughs> it was, was, yes. your mum. Yes. <laughs> but this, this is a brilliant tribute act, and um, it's going to be a great night. We've got some fabulous shows coming on. We do this every year. Yeah. Um, but I know that there's a lot of new people in, in our show hit area that um, have moved in. It probably don't even know where. We exist behind uh, the trees out there in, in the walls. But, um, yeah, I and mean, the trouble is, you, obviously, you've had you've got the darts, which you, you're predominantly known for over the past twenty years. It's, it's really weird that because actually, yeah, we are the home of world darts. Yeah. Actually, well, home of world darts is actually sort of tags on what we really do. Although it's a big event every year, it's just one of the many events that we do. It just happens to be a very enjoyable event. So you mean to say you don't close for like for the fifty? One lights no, the year. No, no, no. <laughs> still here. I'm still here. My father's still here. We're all still working. I, I had a lovely chat with him earlier. He's oh, got he's a, a lot of a lot of stories. A lot of stories. He could keep you talking for a year on the stories that he's got. <laughs> 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 Some of the stuff is unrepeatable. It used to go on in the back backstage, you know, with the parties and things. But you know, we've had some fabulous, fabulous years here, and. Um, Somebody was only saying to me the other day, they actually walked up and said to me, Do you know, you must have had a great life with all these artists and all and all. And I stopped and I said, Well, you know, actually I do, but you know, it was a way of life for me because I've been like that ever since I was a yeah. you know, in the high, sitting on the stairs listening to Herman's Hermits in the bar with Dad having a drink and, and all the bands like The Who and all of those types of bands. It's just, it, to me, it's just second nature and I don't have to realise that other people are quite excited when they come here. And I always want to go backstage and, and meet the artists. So I always try and make it special for them because it's... Uh, I mean, your, your, your dad was saying that he's had quite a few um, bands before they became famous. Yeah. Like you had the Beatles, Rolling Stones, yeah. uh, Tom Jones. Yeah. Uh, all used to, all played here before they made it really big. Yeah. But, well, before, we, uh, uh, before my father bought this uh, place, of course, we used to run the Agent Court and Family. Yep. And the Atlanta in Waking. So that is sort of like a... a Second era here now because that was all bands of the 60s, you know. So we went through all the 60s and uh, 
Matrix, well, the Agent Core is a very different place now. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been in there for years and years, but it was one of my haunts when I was younger. That was where I went, you know, for my entertainment and loads of others. Yeah. I always had loads of friends in those days. They used to arrive with me, and then when I got in, I was on my own. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but um, okay. So, with uh, Lakeside over the um, coming foreseeable future, um, we have as well. We have the the darts, the um, the, modus darts. the modus darts. This actually is um, different from BBO. Obviously, this is a, a brilliant um, organisation. Uh, their organisation is, is is so good. I mean, the whole night is is. Exciting, yep. going out on stage all the time. We have auctions and, and we raise a lot of money for, for the charities. And uh, yes, yeah, so we just had one on Saturday and we were absolutely jam packed. Uh, <laughs> that must be really nice to see yeah, that, it, this it, place it, heaving. I'm not a huge great dance fan actually, but yeah. I, mean, I actually love the atmosphere in the room. And I know a lot of people coming through Southern Bread School where the husband, I don't like dance. I said, well, no, you probably don't, but when you walk out that door, come and see me again. <laughs> Most of them came to say it was. Less, you know, it's like going to see horse racing, it's isn't it? You, you yeah. stay, I, I don't know why I'm here, I don't like horse racing, but by the end of it, you're standing on your seat and shouting for the horses. And most of them are. They're all trying to climb the seat. <laughs> they're raising their, you know, 180 ears. And, it's, and people can dress up and make it really fun. Yeah. Know, and they just have a great time. I mean, I love the atmosphere. I, I'm at front of house for the whole nine days that we have it, you know, normally. And um, I don't leave in front of house. I greet everybody coming in and out of the night when they're going out. Excellent. So the the one thing we we want to leave from today is the fact that Lakeside is not just for middle aged older people. It's for young people as well. Everyone. Everybody over the age of, of um, eighteen. Eighteen, yeah. definitely, yeah. definitely. There's, there's loads of stuff going on. There's loads of stuff happening next year. We're hopefully going to be doing more updates to keep you guys all informed on what what's going on. Ultimate Queen is definitely going to be fantastic. It's already doing quite well. All of these shows are all doing quite well at the box office at the moment, and. Um, you know, they always, they, they always uh, make good money over the Christmas period. We put lots of people in and uh, people have a good time. That's what it's all about. It's kind, of, it's kind of, as soon as you walk through those doors, that's it. You forget about everything that's yeah. going on outside. Yeah. The good thing is that the bar prices here, people think probably that Lakeside is going to cost a lot of money, mm -hmm. but actually, do you know, we're quite cheap compared to everywhere else. The ticket prices are low, the drink prices are low, you know, and um, if you want food, we've always got food on, which you pay for as well, and it's not expensive. So you can have a really good night out here and not have to spend a fortune. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joanne. And we will Thanks. definitely be uh, talking to you again within the near distant future. Hopefully in Janu uh, January, I January. think. January. January. Yeah. We, yeah. And you can let us know yeah, what's happening. New, new, uh, projects for the, for next year, but before then. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.